part of my responsibility is for developing the curriculum, um, particularly with um, a creative um, push in the last few years on the Excellence and Enjoyment Agenda. And um, one of the things that we, we um, developed as a sort of central um, piece for that curriculum was our school museum. And within that school museum, we've kind of used that to showcase and model sort of excellence in all kinds of areas, including ICT. So if you go into our museum, you'll see children have the opportunity to show their work not just on paper, but in sound buttons, in little snippets of, of film, um, in uh, recordings, on um, postcards. Um, they can make books which have audio descriptions to the pictures that they've put in um, and they can download sounds um, and, and have them there for an audience to listen back to that goes with the pictures that they've, they've found. So, you know, the, the, the whole um, potential there for all layers of the curriculum and, and using ICT to kind of enliven all of it. And, and create a sort of enjoyment and, as well as learning a lot from just being in the museum um, was, was sort of a big, a big push and has been very successful. We started the museum with um, a World War II focus because that was the year six um, topic um, last year. Um, we chose a group of children who were interested in becoming curators and we took them along to um, local museums to sort of gather ideas about some of the you know, good ways of displaying things, about ways to engage people coming into the museum, how best to, for people to access and to learn um, stuff when they come into the museum. So having gathered those ideas of their own, yet they decided, yes, we wanted to have film projecting onto the wall, we wanted to have sound as well as visual um, things to, to explore and we wanted it to be very interactive and very inspirational. Um, and so that group of children along with myself and Ruth Fitz, their teacher, sort of worked at, at sort of trying to put some of their ideas into practice. Um, and a lot of it was research on the internet, what's available out there, how can I get um, things to display stuff, how can, where can I find stuff from that will allow me to play that sound back. Um, it was a learning curve, how, having found that sound, how can I get it onto my little sound button? Um, and yeah, through, through exploration and sort of trial and error, we kind of came up with something that you know, ticked the boxes that we wanted to do at the start. And it's been inspirational for people coming in to visit the museum.